in this step we're going to set up the mixes for the throttle so we're going to do that next so I'm going to go to the function menu and I'm going to go to program mix now the first mix we're going to do is for this landing phase we'll have to do different mixes for the other phases so in order to do a mix we go to the master column and I'm going to put channel 8 that's what I'm going to use for the throttle into 8 we're going to turn off the inhibit and we're going to go to the set column so in this mix we are going to have <coughs> minus 125 and minus 125 so we're going to go here decrease minus 125 also plus 125 so we're going to put both ends of the mix in we're going to do an offset of plus 100 and we're going to put a control on here, stick one, so now if I touch the servo and I flip switch eight, we're good, but when I go to landing, nothing, okay, all right, going back, <coughs> so now we've created a mix here in the landing mode, and this mix prevents the throttle from being used during landing. Going back. So now we're going to go to our next mode. We'll start with speed. We'll do a mix on channel 8 so that the motor will run. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to put 8 there. 8 into 8. Going back. Take out the inhibit. Going here. And in this case, we're going to use plus 100 for the A side and we need an offset of plus 100 now the offset adjusts which side of the switch will have the function okay so let's go to servo let's try the switch and it's working so now we can go from no throttle to full throttle now notice how it, it jumps <coughs> instantaneously if we allowed that to occur we would also have to we'd have a lot of torque as that propeller spins up and it probably would not be a good thing so let's put a little delay on the throttle by going back to the base menu and to control set and go to next and next and next and channel 8 needs a delay, so we're going to increase it to about one second. Oops, I went way too fast. Let's try one second, we'll see how that works. Let's flip the switch over here, hitting the throttle, and it moves up smoothly, okay, instead of a quick snap. So now we have a slight delay on the throttle, that'll help with allowing the motor to spin up. So, we were on the function menu and we were working on the program mix for channel 8 in the speed phase. Okay? Now if I flip the switch to the next phase, to distance, the mix is not there. When I go back, it is there. Okay? So, now in the distance phase we have to do exactly the same mix because we want to be able to increase our throttle sometimes in this mode. So, we go to master. <coughs> Put channel 8 into channel 8. Take off the inhibit. Same values. Plus 100. And an offset of 100. Plus 100 on A. And that's the side of the switch that's functioning for us. And an offset of 100. Okay, going to servo menu, checking the switch. There we go. Okay, so we got it there. So we need to also put a delay here. So back, 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 base, control set. Oops, I hit the wrong. 
wrong screen. I'll go there. Whoops, hit the wrong screen again. I apologize. One more time. So I need a delay here also, so another one second. Alrighty, and go back. Function menu, program mix, and we're looking at plus 100, minus 100. Let's check the servo. Working fine in the distance phase. Okay, so keep in mind, we've had to make this mix three, we will have made this mix three different times because they are specific to the phases. So I'm gonna go back. And now I'm going to go back one more time. And then we're gonna switch to our thermal phase and we need a new mix for the throttle. Here we go again. Picking channel eight. Back, taking off the inhibit. Going to the set column. Increase 100. Set of a hundred. All right, offset one hundred. Let's check the switch. Going to the servo screen. Good. Now we need that delay it again. Going back, 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 base, and control set. Next screen to channel eight. Next screen, next screen, and one second there. Okay, now you can't help but notice that I had to go through each phase and set this program mix for this throttle, okay? There would be an easier way. If we had created this program mix in one phase and any other settings we wanted in that phase, we could copy the phases. Let me show you how that's done. If I go back, Let's check the servo first. We're in the thermal phase. Throttle's good. Go back and back and go to the phase menu. I could copy any phase to any position. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hit here and hit copy. And then here's the source. So we're going to go to distance, thermal, speed, and phase six and say yes. All right. Now if I go to the next screen, you'll see phase six now has a control. Now, in that control would be the mixes that we copied from, so they're all right there, you wouldn't have to do them again. For now, I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this phase, and it's back to normal. So, program mix. Again, in all our phases, in landing, we have a mix. This particular mix of minus 125 and 125 prevents the throttle from activating while we are in landing mode. When we come up off of landing mode in the thermal phase, we have the ability to engage the throttle. In the distance phase, we have the ability to engage the throttle. And in the speed phase, we have the ability to engage the throttle. Going back and back. So that's setting up the throttle on channel eight and putting in a little bit of delay so that it will torque up correctly and also putting in a kill function so it will not work in landing.